Hello everyone, your favorite curriculum coordinator, Andy Dietrich is here, and today I'm going to show you how to cross-list your courses in Canvas. What is cross-listing? Cross-listing is a way of taking your Canvas courses or Canvas sections and merging them into one course so that you only need to post an assignment once, uh, making a quiz once, making a, an announcement once, and that way they go to all of your sections for that course. Um, this is mainly used for grades 6 through 8, but it also will work in the elementary school because most of you use your homeroom as your main course, but you can also cross-list your science, your math, your social studies, your writing into your homeroom class, and that way if you want to um, uh, send grades to Power Teacher Pro, it's going to make it a little bit easier for you. It doesn't matter what grade you're in, it's the same steps for everybody. So as you see on your, your screen here, this is Cheryl Rouse's um, uh, Canvas course. She teaches health over at Maple Creek. And health is a nine-week course. And as you can tell here, down in these are all her new courses for the coming year. Um, it's a nine-week course, so she has a lot of sections. Look how many rows there are here. There's a third row, fourth row, fifth row, sixth row, seventh row, eighth row, ninth. I lost count. She's got basically 30 classes in here. And so to make her life more efficient, she's going to want to cross list this and I typically help Cheryl with this so I knew she'd be a, a great example so what you want to do is you've got to identify which courses are in which grading period so for Cheryl's she needs to have her Q1's put with Q1's her Q2's put with Q2's Q3's and Q4's put in their respective ones at the high school level you want all of your S1's lumped together and you want all of your S2's lumped together at K5 it doesn't matter you just put them all together because they're all all one year course anyway so there's two ways you can figure out which grading period each section is they both work but one is more efficient and I'll show you in both and I'll tell you which one I would suggest that you use so we're gonna look at this blue one here first you see right here where it says Maple Creek Middle School you just want to hover over that and as you can see there it says Q2 I don't want to work in Q2 first I'd rather work in Q1 so I'm going to come over here to the next one. All right, this one here is a Q1 course, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one as the master course. So I'm going to click on it. And before I do anything, I'm going to change its name. So I'm going to come down here to settings. And I'm going to change its name to health 8. I'm going to get rid of the A. I'm going to keep Cheryl's name in there and I'm just gonna call it Q1 and then I'm going to copy this so I can do a control C or I can do a right click copy and I'm gonna do the same thing in this next box okay so why did I do it in two things well this first one is the name on the dashboard card this one right here will change the name up here at this one <clears throat> this way if I'm in fifth period it doesn't I'm not gonna think I'm in first period so alright change the name I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on update course details which is the version of save for this screen and then you'll see the ch change at the top with the new name so you notice how it says health 8 Roush quarter 1 okay so now I can either go oh I'm sorry I got ahead of myself now I'm going to come up here to the most important part so I'm going to click back on home and you see this number here at the end of the web address I'm going to copy that so I can do a control V or I can do a right click copy. This is the number that identifies this section or this course in Canvas. I'm going to use this number to tell the other courses where to go. All right. So I can go back to the dashboard and I can hover over the next one and see what it is. It's a quarter two. So this this one down here will probably be a quarter one one. Yeah, right there. Okay. I can click on that one. <clears throat> but it's easier for me to come over here to the courses and if you look over here it's got the Q1's listed already okay so here's the course this is my master course how do I know it's my master course because I changed the name of it okay so I'm gonna come down here to the next quarter one course I'm going to click on it and then I'm gonna come down to settings and then on settings I'm going to click on sections 
and your intuition says, I'm going to click on this button. Don't do that. It doesn't do anything for you. You need to click on the name of the section. And then over here on the right, you're going to see a button that says cross list. Remember how you copied that number of the master course? You're going to paste it right there so you can do a control V or a right click paste. Hit this blue button once. There's the one that I changed its name to, Q1. Cross list this section. And you'll see the change up here that it's in the new one. So now I'm going to come back over here to courses. And I'm going to go down to the next Q1. So here's the next uh, eighth grade quarter one course. Click on it. And then here we go. The same three things again. Settings. Sections. Click on the sections, cross list, paste the number in there. There's the right course, cross list it. And now it's just lather, rinse, repeat. She's probably got at least two more of these, so I'm going to go look. So courses, let's go find the next Q1 course. There it is. Looks like I've got one, two, three. Uh, looks like I got three more to go. So I'm, I'm going to keep doing it again because you're going to have to do the same thing here. All right. So again, I'm going to look for the very next Q1 course right there. Okay. Settings. Sections. Click on the section. Cross list on the right. Control V paste. Blue button once. Confirm it's the right course. Cross list it. Guess what you get to do? You get to go do it again. Courses. Find the next Q1 course. Double check that it's the right kind of course. Click on it. Settings. Sections. Click on the section. Cross list on the right. Paste in the number. Cross list this section. If memory serves me right, she's got one more of these. So I'm looking for a Q18. Right here it is, sixth period. Click on it. Settings. Sections. Click on the section. Cross list this section. Paste in the right number. Control V. Eventually, this list is going to really grow, so I would always control V, but this is the only one I put in there, so I'm just going to click on it. Click the blue button, and that should be all of them. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to double check. So Q1, uh, there's that one. Okay, so i got one more to go. Settings, sections. Cross list this section. There's the number. Paste. So I bet you there's six of these in this course. All right. So now I'm in the home course. I'm going to come back down here to settings. And if I did this right, I counted right, there's six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. So Period one, period two, period three, period four, period five, period six, period seven. Hopefully at Maple Creek they got eight periods so that she has a prep, but it looks like they're all in here correctly. So now uh, I'll have Cheryl double check this for me. If I made a mistake, I will uncross list them. But again, if you make a mistake in here, for example, you accidentally put in the wrong section, you call me 1831. I will get this taken care of you, care of for you. It's not that difficult on my end. It's just something that, for some reason, we don't allow you to do it. So if you make a mistake, let me go. That's all there is to cross-listing. But remember, if you ever have any uh, questions or you feel like you're making a mistake or you're, you just want to double-check, don't hesitate to call me. You can always hit me up on email or you can call me at my extension, 1831. See you in the next time.